Hey guys, today's Trainer Tip Tuesday is on the bent over row. We're gonna show you how to do this properly. I see a lot of people do it incorrectly. I'm gonna give you a few different ways to, uh, to do it. Try whatever's easiest for you. And yeah, we're gonna stop you from looking like a butthead when you do your bent over row. So first and foremost, you need to choose the right weight. I see way too many people lifting way too light of weight when they do their bent over rows. This is an eight pounder. You need to do heavier. I have a 45 pounder here, which is a good starting weight for me. Choose the right freaking weight. Next, we gotta get into the right position. If you like to put your leg up and your hand on, that is fine. Opposite leg to what side you're gonna be rowing. Knee on, not full leg, just the knee in a little bit. Hand on. Your leg needs to come outside of the dumbbell. So wider, slight bend in your knee, pop your bum out. Full extension of the arm, straight back, head up. Row, back down, straight arm, elbow goes up high. Back down, none of this, right? It's gotta get up there, all the way down. Here's another angle. I find looking in the mirror helps with your posture. If you're having a little trouble with the leg on and getting confused, an even simpler way, and the way I do this when I train at most gyms, I don't use my leg at all. I have the dumbbell between my legs, square stance, knees slightly bent. I just simply find somewhere to rest my hand. It could be a bench, a dumbbell rack, whatever. I'm gonna do the other side this time. On the bench, all same principles apply. Butt out, hips square, nice neutral spine position, hand on the bench, Straight left arm, head up, row. Make sure you're getting that elbow nice and high. Bringing that arm all the way back down. Exhale as you pull up, breathe in as you let it go back down. That's how you stop looking like a butthead during your bent over rows.